Today we're going to be going over possibly the best early to mid game money making method. This is also applicable to late mid game and early late game. I do it this way because I don't feel like switching, but we're going to be going over zealot farming, how to start with it, how to progress through it, the way I do it, but it's going to be a pretty fun time. But before the video starts, I got a, pretty, a good little YouTuber guy that asks you to hit the like button, subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, you can hit the notification bell. If you're feeling extra generous, you can join my Discord server and follow me on Twitch. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. We're here outside the Dragon's Gate, and as you can see, I am pretty maxed for doing all the farming. I have a pretty much maxed Juju other than Soul Eater. I don't got that on it, but I'm planning on putting it on there soon. But I also have a Livid Dagger that I used to farm with, but I'm using Juju and, well, if I take my Shadow Assassin off, Young Dragon Armor so I can go speedy as possible, and I also got a God Pod on. But this is me. I'm, I'm just doing my thing. I also, eh, when I want to, I can put on my Mythic Enderman and have those extra summoning eye chances. But that's all, like, very advanced summoning eye stuff. Or, well, Zealot Farming, not summoning eye. But you do get summoning eyes from zealot farming. But this is like, this is pretty much almost as max as you can be with zealot farming. The only way you get more maxed is getting a precursor eye or a terminator, both of which are pretty darn expensive. So this setup would cost me around 80 mil. I ended up dropping a legendary enderman myself, so it only cost me about 40 mil. But that's pretty easy. But we're going to be going over what you need to get to start out. So. First of all, you're going to want yourself a set of Young Dragon Armor so that you can go as speedy as possible. You can either put Pure from the most crit chance or Mythic or whatnot. Um, I would recommend Pure. I have part Mythic because I have high enough combat level to not need as much crit chance. But if we go take a look in the AH here, so Young Dragon, you can see if we sort this to lowest price, it's pretty inexpensive. A full set may cost you, I mean, yeah, a full set may cost you around 600,000 coins. That's pretty cheap. To get that, maybe just go mine cobblestone or mine sand for a couple hours or something. You'll be able to afford this. You could probably get this set up within maybe an hour of starting the game. It's that simple. But next, we are going to want an aspect of the... I can't put it all in there, but an aspect of the dragons, or AOTD as most people would um, say. Now, this one is clean for 400k. I have a little bit more money on me. I don't know, I'll just buy the clean one. I do need one of these just for an example. I'll just end up selling it later, but won't tell anybody. Anyway, um, I'm going to warp end um, for the new ones of y'all. Y'all won't have that unless you spend a couple mil on the age. I was just an idiot and didn't want to... You know, go to Portal Hub every time I wanted to do things. But as you can see, I'm in my Young Dragon. Uh, this is a clean aspect of the dragons. You're going to want to enchant it, put hot potato books on it, stuff like that. But it, I don't get my sell it stole from me. Well, yeah, mine is not going to do too much because, you know, it's not enchanted. But as base, I'm doing 11,000 damage with it. Now keep in mind, I'm combat 31. Y'all will be like combat 18 or something. But if I waste some XP levels, so slash enchant, say we just put um, sharp five, telekinesis, yeah, fire aspect, and then let's put critical, and let's see if I can get first strike. First strike, and well, I don't have enough for Enderman Slayer, but you're going to want that. But with just those enchants, I am one tapping them. Now keep in mind, I am combat 30. You will probably not be combat 30. As you can see, combat 30. I'm assuming most of y'all are around combat 12, combat 15, around that area. So you're not going to be doing stuff like this, so you're going to want to max enchant and put hot potato books on it. But just for this example, and for my money's sake, since I only have a mill in my purse right now because I just bought a juju, I'm not going to max enchant it. But if you max enchant it, put hot potato books on it, you will be looking pretty. And the Young Dragon armor is pretty important, because if you see the full set bonus, gain plus 70, plus 70 walk speed while you're above 50% HP. So just make sure not to go below 50 HP. And you're going to want to be able to one-tap these for a certain reason. Two-tapping these just won't work. 
Because if you start taking damage, you'll lose that on buffs, blah, 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 blah. But if you can one-tap them, they won't even aggro on you, which is why this is so good for early game players. Or, well, early to mid game. It is what it is, but just make sure you can one-tap them. And you can also use that ability, but it costs a decent amount of mana. I wouldn't recommend it. Just go up and slap them. But if you want to do this really slowly, you can actually only use the ability, since the ability on a clean one of these will one-tap them, no matter the enchantments you have on it. It does a base 13,500 damage, I believe. It's pretty decent. But that is pretty much all you need to start Zealot Farming. And in order to rank up from this, you could probably go with Shadow Assassin, and I don't have Rancher's Boots, but Rancher's Boots, so that you're a tad bit more tanky. And then after, after the Aspect of the Dragons, I'm not going to buy this, but I will show you. You're going to want to buy a Flower of Guru, which is pretty much the next step up in progression slash cell farming. So that's about 3 mil, and you're going to want to be mostly farming with the ability on that, but also it should be able to one-tap them. Uh, I believe that one of those does about 50,000 damage per, but ish whatever. Yeah, that's uh, about it. So if this did help you out in any way, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And goodbye.